And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. King Tejada next up for the Braves. Homered last night added another hit as well. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Well done behind the dish. Harris on second. Albies at first. One gone. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The 0-2. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Corner grabs it on the run. That is it. The first baseman, number 34. Jake McCarthy that steps to the plate for the White Sox. The designated hitter, Jake McCarthy. And the right hander deals on the ground. Fired to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head to the second on the south side. It's the Braves one and the White Sox nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now here is King Tejada. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And that's just foul. You know, these Braves did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news. Jake McCarthy steps Leon. to the plate for the White Sox. He's 0 for the 1. Designated hitter. Jake. Perez back Mark to work. McCarthy. On the ground is short. Tejada. Zips it across, and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of number the air. Lets number the defense 21. work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now one down. Now right it's the right fielder, number 79. He was a strikeout victim his first time. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Sends it across the first. Two away. Oh, but we talk about how now the batting. ball is coming Catcher. out of the pitcher's hand. Daddy. The way it comes out of his hand Catcher. as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Off the Top six. The Stepping in, the slugging Daddy. shortstop, King Tejada. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And that's going to roll to the wall safely into second he's got a double I'll attack one more game onto his hitting streak boo every day this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach I still can't believe what he's doing yeah neither can I it's like he's playing on beginner mode out there there comes a skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move Logan Gilbert out of the game, and it wasn't his best start, but he kept them in it to this point, and will come back with a new arm. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Jose Hernandez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now it's Bobby Bradley. Runner breaks for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save! I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. 
Nice and patient, one at a time. Bradley waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Yorbit Vivas now at the plate. One for two. The pitch. And another ball. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Yenci Almonte preparing to come on if needed. Enriquez getting loose as well. And now the lefty hit on the ground to the right side. Now two away as they get a run across. Now back. Rondell David. Here on the south side, bottom of the sixth inning at the play. Brennan Davis. Go, Davis, 29 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2018. Ground ball up the middle. Throw over to Bradley. Oh. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the, the sixth. Number 13. Shortstop. Fernando Carvajal. And now the shortstop, Fernando Carvajal. Hey, come on now. Here we go. On the ground to the left. Tejada throws to first and there's two away the batter number six second baseman Nico Corner. two outs nobody now on batter. and the batter will be the shortstop Dave. King Tejada one for three right, he's hitting for that pop came out of the gates really strong Hard hit, left side. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. So, man aboard, Bobby Bradley getting ready to hit. Right-hander kicks, deals. Runner on the goal. Throw! Save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Movement in the bullpen. Bobby Gunn getting ready to go. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One left for Atlanta, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. So two down, Nico Horner steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They get the force. Play made. That ends the inning. The White Sox leave one. They trail it here 3-0. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.